really quick. Let's do our dates real quick. Yeah. And we'll just put this at the top of other episodes. Yes. Uh, I am going to be in lots of places. Tampa, Palm Coast, uh, starting in May 31st. Palm Coast, Florida, June 1st. And then Charleston on June 3rd. Baltimore, June 4th. Then Lexington, Kentucky, the weekend of 8th through 10th of June. And then Asheville on June 11th. And then Philadelphia on June 15th. And Arlington, Virginia, slash Washington, D.C., uh, the 16th. And 17th. And you can see me co-headline with Justin Martindale, Ooh, July 29th fun. in San Francisco. That's fun. Um, I'm in Austin, Texas at the Creek and Cave, May 19th, 20th. Then I'll be at Dania Beach, Florida, the Improv, 26th, 27th, 28th. Then I'll be at Zany's Nashville, one night only, the 31st. Go out, Nashville. Go out, for God's sakes. Uh, and then I'll be in uh, Spokane, Washington, the 22nd to the 24th. And then, uh, and then I'm gone for the entire summer. Come to me just for laughs on the yeah. two weeks. If you're, if you're yeah. Montreal listeners, Montreal. for God's sakes, come out. I'm Jessica Michelle Singleton. And I'm Steph Tolev. We're, we're sloths. sloths. Oh, man, we're so good. We really are disgusting people. This should be not allowed. Our no. bedroom is... Messy. It's psychotic. Wow, what does that I, mean? It, there's like, I've never seen clothes like this. It makes no sense. There's I, just, clothes just like the dresser is a shelf. It's you not know? dirty, but it's messy as fuck. Yeah, I'm not gross dirty. I'm just ca- chaotic. There's just yeah. shit everywhere. Yeah, it's just like, I'll try things on and throw them. And it's bad. <laughs> I hate it about myself. Are we rolling? We're rolling. So we're just. And then my house is a spick and span. Oh, yeah. oh are you a Virgo? I'm anal, non Pisces. Pisces, okay. My boyfriend's a Virgo and. Very perfectionist. We're going to kill each other if we ever live together. Uh, oh, yeah. I showed up to his place the first time and it looks like. His apartment looks like an anthropology catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like Ikea when you walk in. Like, he's like, don't sit on anything. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Don't touch anything. Can I be here? (laughs) Welcome to Slops. (laughs) We've already, so we have not, we used to do an intro. Oh, yeah. We just rolled uh, in talking about how shitty my room is. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. How disgusting you are. Yeah. 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 You guys were here with Brittany Furlan. Thank you. What's Uh, up? Thank you for coming. Yeah. You're, welcome. You You're welcome. You're welcome. cameras. You made it very I know. I was you like, I don't know which one's one. mine. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to greet each of them. <laughs> right all right. You, okay, good. Okay. You look at all of them. I again, will. Except for this one. Probably okay. isn't going to you. But okay. you can look at look at that one the whole time. <laughs> Brittany, lovely is here. Lovely is here. I don't know how to talk right now. Uh, not saying goodbye to your husband, but coming to do slobs instead, which now I feel bad. No, don't feel bad. It's okay. Like, he'll be back in two months. Oh, if he, oh, like, months. dies or something, then feel bad. Okay. Oh, I just man. call you guys. I'm like, remember when I, like, told you my husband was leaving? And, like, and then we're like I'm like, I didn't even say goodbye. He's Europe? Yeah, he's Europe, Europe. keep Tommy Lee alive. Right? I know. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to fly into Germany with him. I was going <gasps> to go home. next week. I know, so I'm telling you. Why are you? Your people. Are you not now? I decided not to just because I toured the whole U.S. with him. And it's, like, like not fun. Oh yeah, I it's dated a not musician. Fun. Granted, it was at a much smaller scale. Yeah, it's just like at a certain point, you're like, yeah, okay, we're in the bus. Like, yeah, it, it, backs, is it bus or is it like? It, it was bus the whole U.S. Oh. And like, I mean, you know how it is. I mean, when you, when you guys go on tour, it's like you're not in the city for long. No, you're not no. like you're like there for a fucking day. You yeah. think it's gonna be glamorous, and they're like, where are the closest sandwiches? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like you're eating fucking craft service. I'm yeah. like, why am I in Paris eating a fucking ham and cheese fucking <laughs> yeah. sandwich from McDonald's? Like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. fucked up. Jersey like, Mike's, again? yeah, Jersey Mike's subs. Disgusting. <laughs> how did you get these? Here? Wet. Why? Why are they soaked? What are they? Are they putting water on the subs? Yeah. Why well, they're actually wet? Have you ever had? You get to the bottom and you're like, oh, this is literally a sponge. I'm like, I'm eating a Jersey Mike sponge. It's weird. The meat's Disgusting. like extra wet. It is. Uh, it's Stopped. wet meat. It's weird. You but yeah, you ruin Europe for me. It was really bad. Like the you not bad the U.S. tour, but it was just like a lot of like pack up, go, yeah, pack yeah. up, go, pack up, go. And like, I mean, if I was a dude and just had like a razor and like a fucking piece of deodorant, yeah, like sure. I'd be fine, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, that's why men that. drive. Right, yeah, yeah, if yeah, that, yeah, yeah. right. But then I'm like kind of a high maintenance bitch. I like I got my fucking dog. I got my shampoos, my conditioner, my Jade my makeup, <laughs> right? Like, where do I put like my face mat? You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot to pack up and unpack every other day. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really, I don't no, really want to no, do it. I mean, no. if we were like really chilling in places for a while, yeah. I'd be like, sure. Yeah. But I'm just like, do I really want to drag myself along for this? Yeah. Like, c- you know, city to city, all throughout Europe. I mean, he's like, it's gonna be so cool to see stuff. I'm like, yeah, outside the, the fucking window. plane yeah, window. Yeah, you know, like I might as well just go on Google Images. Like that's. <laughs> I'll be right there. I'm there. Literally, like I'll just fucking literally look Google it. You yeah, know, where's the bus parked? I'm just gonna go to the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Never. Have mind. you guys gone on vacation recently at all, or has it just been tour central? We went to um, Tahiti, and I got fucking COVID there. No, it was the 
worst. What like the I fuck? managed to go all COVID with no, no COVID. COVID. And then we went on vacation to Tahiti like right before Christmas. And Fuck. in Tahiti, second day, I'm like, I don't feel so good. I'm like, and it's beautiful. No. Like the weather's beautiful. <laughs> no. The people are God. beautiful. The food's beautiful. Just laying in a bed looking at a window. I know. And I'm like, who the fuck gave me COVID? And then here's the craziest fucking thing. I had COVID and a UTI in yeah. Tahiti. Just the worst combination. That's so bad. Just oh, so sick, right? So there's no UTI meds out there. That's even worse. I'm more upset about this for you. So this is the thing. Uh. Tahiti's a fucking island, right? No. So we're there. And I'm like, I'm gonna need a doctor. Like, I'm bleeding, I'm peeing oh, blood. Yeah. Like, well, I'm like, the one painful. doctor's on Christmas vacation. Yeah, 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 yeah They're yeah. like, <laughs> the doctor's also like the hula instructor. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, this isn't <laughs> right. This is wrong. Um, so I, I, they get me a doctor. They have to fly him in from the main island. What? They're like, he'll be here tomorrow. And you're like, my urethra won't be here. Yeah. So I'm getting worried because like I've had, I've had UTIs that have mm. turned into kidney, kidney. infections. I've had one before that have so- turned into sepsis. <gasps> that put me in the hospital. No! So I was like, I was just spiraling because I already have so much anxiety. Oh I'm just like, oh my God, God, worst case scenario, I'm going to get fucking sepsis. This was the second day and we were there for eight days. Oh, so God. they fly this doctor in. He shows up. He's wearing a fucking hoolish, like a, a fucking, Tommy Bahama? what's it called? Tommy Bahamas, like no. literally like a Hawaiian shirt. And a fedora? He has a Hawaiian shirt. I have picture of It was really sure. scary. It was like weird. He was like, I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. He doesn't really speak much English and he has a paper bag bag and he goes no. here you go take for this for the uti he goes covid you know i wasn't vaccinated i'm not vaccinated whatever Rebel. so um yeah i was like oh, whatever but so i i and not that i'm anti-vax because i have all my other vax but anyway um so i he hands me this paper bag for the uti right and i look inside and it's just white powder in a bag and I was like, what, what, what is this? Is this, do I snort <laughs> it? Do I lick it? Do I smoke it? Like, do I put it in what a spoon and light it? Like, what the fuck is this shit? Just and he goes, for you, T.I., just pour in a, a drink and drink it. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Crystal I've light? never, yeah, yeah, like, yeah literally. Like, what so is I pour this? this shit into the water and the water turns orange. And I'm like, this motherfucker gave me tang. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. Like, he wild. gave me fucking tang. <laughs> I swear to God. And like, he was $500 cash. No. And I oh, gave him $500 so cash and he left. And then did and it, that's did it, it work? work? No. <laughs> so I had the UTI. Fuck. The whole trip, no. eight days. No, so you, that's you're no, there's in no pain, sex. You're panicking. In pain, panicking, zero and, sex and zero sex. And we, I didn't even know how I got the UTI. Probably from the ocean or my bathing suit or something from the second day. So I mean, this, uh, my husband days. then was sober, then relapses on the trip, starts drinking. No, I was like. Am I in like this Dante's like Inferno seventh <laughs> layer of hell? Like this is what I think it is. Like I think Jesus I'm like, am I being Christ. tested? Oh like God, who yes. did I fuck up in my like life that I deserve this? Right? COVID, bloody pussy, and husband and now, now your husband's off, off the Ranger fucking rails. We well, love like, no. on the other side no. of the island. No, because no, and then when he starts drinking, he gets mean. So uh, I was like, oh my oh God. God. So I'm dying in bed all day. He's at the bar turning the fuck up, oh right? God. And just coming home plastered every night, mad. He's like, you had to get COVID. Like, yeah, it's my yeah. fucking oh, like fault. like I did it on yeah. purpose. Like, I just once let someone sneeze in my yeah, mouth. You, like, it yeah. was my Licked fault. It all up. I guess I shouldn't have been face fucking the, po- the pilot on the way here. Dude, right? it was the worst trip ever. And that was our literally last trip. Oh and, like, I made it home. Thank fucking God. I don't even know what the fuck that yeah. is. Yeah. It's, it's definitely <laughs> styrofoam. fucking somewhere. Oh, yeah. I'm like, it just falls <laughs> off. I break your whole set. The whole thing falls down. Um, we but, like, fire. yeah, I literally, like, made it home. I finally got the UTI meds and thank God it didn't spread to my kidney oh, but I mean the, the COVID God. wasn't even as bad as the UTI oh, yeah. the UTI was scary eight days of that uh, fucking no, pain and the thing terrible. was my because my husband was drinking I was like I need to go to the hospital on the main island and they were like that's a flight you gotta take an hour flight to the main island, then check into the hospital, and they're like, and our hospitals aren't great. Like, they literally yeah, said that. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. this is my well worst the- nightmare. I said, what do yeah. people do when they have heart attacks? Like, he's like, yeah, they just, they usually die, but like, it's really beautiful. Yeah, like, he points like a- to the court, <laughs> yeah, like, we dumped them over that rock over there, and you're like, oh, that's a death rock. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, it's like a really beautiful place to die, though. Like, yeah. imagine, like, you have a heart attack, the last thing you see is like a dolphin. Like, yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah, not so, I mean, yeah, if you've it's not so bad, right? Die on vacation. And I was like, get me the fuck out of here. Like, I already have. 
a horrible anxiety disorder. I hate traveling. I have agoraphobia. Really? Like horrible. My so whole life. Happen, so yeah. This was like a big trip for me yeah. to go and commit to do. And I was uh, now I'll never do it again. No, that's, oh, never. I told him. I said, we're yeah. done. I said, no more places without hospitals nearby. Yeah, yeah, no more right, exotic yeah. places. We're no going fucking, to big yeah, cities yeah. only. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you want to go First on a trip? World. We can go to the beach in Malibu. And did like, you go? Yeah. yeah. Did you go there? Because does TMZ fuck with you guys? Well, no, this was okay. that was a long time ago. Are you talking about the airplane? Which were you talking about? No, I didn't even. I was just asking. No, no, you no, you're no, no, no. such a high level. That's why I was like, wondering why you went to such a oh, secluded area because I don't. Know if oh, you guys Tahiti. Were he just like my husband just loves like exotic places. Okay. He wants an island. That I mean, no he's one's the around. kind of we're so different in that sense. Like he wants to go to fucking Bangkok, Thailand, and like sleep in the jungle. Oh, and I'm like, no. Like I just that doesn't <laughs> any like, part of that sound appealing. Like I'm not trying to eat like banana leaves for like ten days. Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. not trying to do that. Like my I like drink seasons. rainwater. No, Sorry, dude. That's why I said I'm like we can go to Bang. Four Seasons Bangkok. We're yeah. not staying yeah, yeah. at like Bangkok hut set city. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. not adventurous. Hey, you can sleep on the balcony <laughs> yeah, of our yeah, private yeah, yeah. suite. I'll be inside. We can yeah, put a tree yeah. out there. I'm yeah, sure yeah, that yeah. if we ask for a tree, they'll put a plant. Yeah. I'll make have my our butler make animal noises. Yeah. I'm like, you'll feel like you're really in it. Like you'll feel like you're really in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll make him wave a leaf. Yeah, like, exactly. Spray some water. He comes in a full bear yeah. costume. <laughs> exactly. No, just attack him. He loves. It. <laughs> he loves being in the middle of nowhere, and I'm like, I'm just not that person. Like we're very different. He loves to travel i don't so it's like but like you know i like being home he likes being home a little bit too so i mean it was the worst it was a trip from hell so i was like you know i'm still kind of jaded you know what i mean like now every trip he wants me to go on i'm like like i'm paranoid you know but now you're here here. how long have you been doing stand-up for okay so i used to stand up back in like 2007 okay like a long time ago like back with like when gerard carmichael was starting and like i used to live with josh adam myers Myers. i used to live with angelo bowers i love it I don't know if you guys know, R.I.P., but yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Um, so I lived with people and would do, was doing it, and then I got on a show on E, and I was like, "Well, I made it," you know. And then that <laughs> show got canceled, and then and then yeah, I, I should have burned all those bridges with everyone. I know. Yeah. I just fucking I got a show. Fuck you. Because I was like, "What's the reason?" Like most people do stand up is to get like you know acting yeah, a lot gigs of people do it or to, get to do it. a special, oh, right? If like, that happened to me. Ta-ta. Bye, yeah, right? right? Oh. I'm so tired. I got I'm, such a, I'm such a like loser purist. I'm like, yeah, I do it for the... I'm so... I love stand-up so much, I have accidentally fucked myself out of things by being in meetings and being like, yeah, I don't really care about pop culture. And they're like, why are you here? This is E. And I'm like, you asked me to come. <laughs> Yeah, I did that exact same like, meeting in E. Wow. I, think I, asked me, I don't like, really know what's going on. Yeah, like the Kardashians, like, I couldn't name one. They're like, you need to leave. I go, I know. Oh. I know. And I look back and I'm like, yeah, what were you doing, you fucking idiot? So but, you, so your goal's not acting or what I is would your love goal? to now. Like, okay. I, I've hit a point where it's like, I would love to. I like, I like making other stuff. I would love to do more like, do like a funny TV show or like sketches yeah. and shit with my friends. But like, at the end of the day for me, it's like, the ability to do stand up just at a higher and higher level. Is Great. Really cool. I just love the art form. Yeah. I love the like live aspect. Yes. I'm very like, uh, obviously, I would love to do like a Netflix special or yeah. stuff like that. But like, to me, like, I, I am like, it should be live. I wish more people would just go see yeah. it live. It's just different. Even the best Netflix special mm. you've seen yeah. in the room is way better. I And that's another thing. People are like, post all your clips. And I'm like, I don't want to post clips online. I want you guys to come to the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of funny because people like will be like, oh, like I'm going to come see you. And like, you better. And I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, wow, you're actually good. And I'm like, yeah. And that, but I don't post it because I don't, I don't yeah. want I don't want to give it all away. Like, no, come no. out. Yeah. Get the yeah, fuck yeah, out yeah. of your house. Get off your phone yeah. for a second. Yeah. And come yeah. fucking see you're the like, show. You're like, I left my house. Yeah. yeah. I fucking, fucking left house. my house and I hate leaving yeah, yeah, my yeah, fucking yeah. house. I'm like <laughs> fucking white knuckling the steering wheel the every time I leave fucked. my house. Double thank you for being I will here. say, yeah, I do want to act. So if there's any people listening right now, yeah. I most certainly want to be on a show. That's yeah, all, I that's all that's why I moved out here. You'd all be I want to do is on a show. Yeah. All I want to fucking like, do is that. You're like, be so great on a show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm You'll trying. get on a show. You're very funny. I watched your stuff. Oh, you're so funny. Yeah, and also like, I would love to, so I'm not like. She's like, she's like, like, I take it back. I really, she's I, like, I take but it I'm back. Like, I, I, I guess I, I moved just here mean for like, it, though. I moved here for acting. So that's fine. Like yeah, I would, same. I would, I think there's people, and rightfully so, who would get enough things acting and get a show that they'd be like, cool, stand up was fun. I do yeah. this now, and I'm. It's gonna be. This is my life. I would always come back to exactly. Stand-up. Oh yeah. yeah, no, I'd still do it here and there. Yeah, but exactly. I'm like, I just, but it'd yeah. be fun to be get the bigger job, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, because like I, I don't know. I so the funny thing is, I was like sitting in my house and I was like, I was like, I need to perform. I'm so tired of like auditioning and mm-hmm. like you know, you get stuff here and there every once in a fucking blue moon yeah. when someone more famous than you doesn't want the a little part. Crumb. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go do it. And I, I luckily like the improv and the comedy store knew me from back in the day, and they were like, yeah, Sure, yeah. come back. Yeah. yeah. So it was 
like fine, you know, thank God. Yeah. But you know, it's been great and I'm so happy to be back. I but you also that. don't have to post that many clips because you have a big following. That's so true. the issue is with yeah. us little scummy scum suckers over here, we have to fucking post well, It's like you're building it. Because you have to build to get yeah, to that fucking I point get that. where I'm like. Yeah. Well, plus I feel like you probably have enough of a following that people like, Oh, cool! I want to see. Yeah, and I can want to see, see you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the thing. They're like, they, you they see like, oh, where the fuck is she? I'm going. Yeah. you probably at least every show have minimum 10, 20 people come see you. That's true. So I do it's have like people come. I yeah. don't have that yeah. until and like I have to keep being like, this is what my shit is. But then I only post crowd stuff because I don't want the same you, thing. You're same thing. Material, you don't want. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post crowd work. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, get that. I post like I'll just post. I don't give a fuck anymore. You're like I post my whole special. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I, you string all my clips together, yeah. it's my it's special. actually just yeah. like, <laughs> you can watch them back to back. You want to see my special? Just start at the bottom of my Instagram and watch clip by clip. That's amazing. That's, yeah, I've, it's but I'm so I'm so glad to like. It's just nice to be able to like take things into your own hands, right? Like yeah. to yeah. not be like, oh, I got to audition to get to yeah, hope yeah, for yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. like. Uh, uh, Question, uh, were like, you single before when you were doing it? I was. How does it feel now coming back as a married woman? Is it like... You know what's funny? I feel like, you know, okay, so here's the difference. Back in the day, comedians were... Were you around then too? Oh, yeah. But you were in oh, New yeah. York. No, or, Toronto. Oh, you were here? Toronto. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. She wasn't here. So here, were you here in like 2007? I was here, yeah, yeah. That's like, oh, no, not 2007. Okay. I came in 2010, so okay. I met all those people, but maybe you Later. had like moved So I was... Start, when I started in 2007, I felt like people weren't as nice. But also, Yo, like, no. I had no, I had nothing. I was no social media. I had no, 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 there was no Instagram. And no women. There was no, probably, right? Yeah. And there was no women. The only women were, uh, were Jody Miller, um, Eleanor Kerrigan. Um, uh, I mean, Whitney was in and out. And uh, Eliza was in and out. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, but not a lot. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, a like, just random people you probably won't even remember. Esther Pavitsky was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Esther, She's yeah. been in it for a long time. And uh, Justine Marino, like, but not like a ton. Yeah, no. And I felt like people weren't as nice mm-hmm. as they are now. And I don't know if they're nice, nicer now because of the climate of things in yeah. life, yeah. or if they're nicer now because I don't know, because my life's changed. I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I mean it's Hollywood. Then. You're gonna get a little yeah. of like people being like I, I, fake. Yeah. Oh yeah. People Which I hate. I hate it's, that too. I hate it so you much. You must get it a lot. People I don't sucking actually, your ass. I don't. I, you know. I, Especially in the comedy scene, some comics I notice like are not are specifically not nice to me, and I think they probably are like, oh, like what the fuck is she doing? Oh, like here? they think yeah. you're, oh, you, she's gonna try me. to do stand up, right, now. right, 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 right. Like they don't know me, they don't know like that this yeah. is a thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I mean, uh, whatever. Com- comedians are all mentally ill. They're, yeah, yeah I, mean, I include myself. Me in included. That. Yeah, yeah. No, me we're included. all six, six so people. I, some people are not very nice, but I notice that a lot more people are nice. Yeah, which is cool and supportive, and like the girls are supportive and cool of each other, which is nice. It's nice to have gotten to a point. I think some of that much nicer. Some much of that was nicer. crazy. There was a big shift. I yeah, feel what like even since- happened like with me personally of like because I think when I first started, it did feel like even though I wanted to be like all women, there was this little subconscious thing of like, but they're only gonna take one of us, <laughs> so yeah, I gotta yeah, be yeah, the yeah. best. I want it to be more of us, but they're yeah. gonna be like, we have our woman, so I gotta be yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. You I'm know, fucking dead. It's yeah. right. Yeah. It's like, so you, like you like go, we all girl. Go through like one little fucking yeah. door, but yeah. like, but there's the. I feel like there is so much room for us. Oh and, yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah. like like, and I like it because I feel like we're stronger together too. Yes. Oh you yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I felt like back in the day it was a little bit more snide, and yeah. now everyone just seems to be much nicer. But it's also a lot helping. More yeah, it's also helping the the climate see more funny fucking females and we're not getting the same oh I think you're funny I don't usually like women I find them funny it's like oh, I yeah. had somebody the day come up to me after a show and they're like hey I like this say classic like I don't I don't really find any I women usually funny. find women funny and I go I go I'll give you less right now I go follow me on Instagram and I'll DM them like a fucking shit ton of a, people a that chunk are funny. Yeah. a chunk I'm like here you go Follow these fucking people. I, I don't, I'm not dealing with this comment anymore. It's no. like, it's because annoying. you're still seeing less of us, there's still, it's so stupid. Yeah. And it's also, every time I get that, I'm like, have you ever watched any other woman do comedy? Yeah, you haven't. And that's not to say that there aren't women who aren't funny. Because there's yeah. men who aren't, there's people who aren't funny. Yeah. There's, there's, there's guys there's who aren't so funny. Many. But usually it's someone who has just yeah. never taken time to watch a woman. Yeah. 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 And I mean, you'll always get the guys that no matter how funny you are, you could be the funniest bitch on earth and they will still say you're not funny mm-hmm. because you're a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's that incel mentality. Oh, like, you like, know, you do certain people's podcasts that are like have the incel following. Oh, and don't read like, those YouTube comments. And I'm not going to say who, but <laughs> I, I you know, know. Uh, you know I who they know. are. They're like, get this bitch back in the kitchen. She needs to be oh, bent yeah. over the fucking counter. Like, yeah. tell her to stick a cock in her mouth and shut up. Like, there's oh, a 
a lot of that. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm uh, yeah. It's, it's a it's if a, I ever did Rogan, I know that you would get roasted. Comment, I would be yeah, we, I would be too. I did Tiger Belly and got roasted. Oh yeah, yeah. It was oh, horrible. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking any literally. Oh yeah, any fucking. I feel like yeah, any big. Doesn't matter what. Also, it's funny too if I post a clip that's hilarious. Someone would be like, "Well, she's ugly." All right. <laughs> Cool, <laughs> like you, I, it's so nuts. There's, it's so inf- they're yeah. insane. Oh, the internet! But it's like anything they can do to, like, you know, because they're living in their mom's basement, yeah, so they're yeah, like, yeah. you know, yeah. All they have is insulting people, or yeah. they just like are hanging up their Confederate flag all day. I'll tell you so who like, those you know, people are: people who love wet Jersey Mike subs. Those are the they, kind of love they love them. <laughs> they fucking go hard on those. Like That's, it's crazy. They're literally probably fucking the sandwiches. Yeah, uh, but it's good. To, you know, it's good to be back, and I'm loving it. It's been good. I'm oh, happy. I love so, that. Mostly positive. Okay, we'll take a quick, quick break here. And then we're going to come back. And now we're back. We're back. Uh, we're back. I'm glad that you're back. You're having fun. <laughs> you're having fun doing it. We love to see park. you. Yeah, at our it. trailer park. This is our fucking pit. So um, for you, are you like trying to like lean in and go back like hard with stand up? Or are you like yeah. just trying performed. to force yourself out of the house? Like, well, it's both. Yeah. Because yeah. like what, uh, you know, I, I didn't really tell you, tell you guys, but like, so I was doing the stand up and then I got on a show and then I have had anxiety since I was really little, really bad. Like I just get panic attacks. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Or oh. Had one, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't breathe. You think or you're like a heart yeah. attack. A heart attack. Uh, which doesn't help when you're a hypochondriac and already anxious. Such a hypochondriac. Because like, no, this is different. Yeah. This is different. Yeah. This is, this is, it's, it's fine happening i used to go to the hospital like all the time like i'm oh, dying they're like you're 26 and i'm yeah. like I'm, i don't care i'll be the first one of yeah. a heart attack i don't care watch <laughs> it you're gonna be in jail because you didn't you know yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway it was horrible so they started coming back and i was like fuck and then uh vine came out and i was like okay cool i can still do comedy but stay in my house i can create so i was okay. creating but i didn't really okay. have to leave my house much unless i was like collaborating with somebody and then and did that right kind of back yeah. to my house inadvertently yeah. drive it up it fed. yeah it fed it and so I got really cozy and I was like, I'm not leaving my house. Like I'm making uh-huh. money and I'm yeah, fucking, yeah. I'm staying in this fucking house and I love it. And I was like, and making, it gives you the like, well now I people expect me to make vines. Yeah, exactly. I can't go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have time for stand up. Like I just kept making excuses. And so I did the vines and they were successful and then that died. And then I was like, okay, great. Uh, back to square one. And you're like, and no, mm-hmm. fuck. Yeah, it was really bad. And, and, and uh, I kind of was just kind of trying to figure out what to do at that point and I still have this very bad anxiety I don't think I'll ever get rid of it but I married my husband and I luckily he's very calm in the storm <laughs> yeah. you know just calm just, man <laughs> under the radar no one knows who he is low key um, yeah. dead but like it's so <laughs> funny because um he is just fried like pretty much all his brain cells with drugs that he like doesn't have any anxiety so there is a, so a he's like, blessing. He's like, whoa, why are you freaking out? Like, what's wrong? You know what I mean? Like, I'll be having, because I don't know why I have them. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, just panic. Can't breathe. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and I'm choking. Fuck, and he's like, what? What the fuck? Are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm, fi- I'm freaking out. And I'm like, can I have a hug? And he's like, what's that going to do? And I'm like, just give me a fucking yeah, hug. Like, he's it like, releases very, oxytocin. Like, There's science behind this. Hold like, me. He doesn't really know what to do. Uh-huh. And he's like, well, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to go back to sleep. And I'm like, all right, dope. Yeah, like, I'll just be like, here shaking. Like very, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's cool. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the vibrating bed. Like, I'm yeah. just fucking dying. So I don't, go to, the hosp- I don't go to the hospital anymore. I kind of just ride him out. <laughs> but, it's, but it's so funny because he has no anxiety and he doesn't get it at That's all. Fuck. And when the first time I was having one, he thought I was having a seizure because I get full on, like my jaw starts shaking. I've like, had it that like, bad, like crazy. Like, my whole body's shaking, and I kind of tense up. And he was like, "What the fuck?" Who's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "You <laughs> thought I was having a seizure, and you didn't call nine one one. You just stared at me." I'm like, "This is great. Like in emergency situations, he's just yeah. gonna stare over yeah. me and go, Are you okay?' Or just are both you in okay? A f- I'm, I'm just freaking out. I'm just like dying. He's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" One like, arm is completely severed he, off. Yeah, like he just doesn't. Hey, no. babe, you're being a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm kind of trying to sleep right now. Um, could you I stop also, doing that? I need to watch <laughs> clips of him now to see how good your impression is of him. No, he's literally that guy. Okay. Like, if you met him, he'd be like, whoa, nice to meet you. Uh, like, he grew up in Covina. He's a California That's, boy oh, through and I through. I didn't know he's a Cali- oh, California, California boy through and oh, through. Oh, shit. I mean, he was born in Greece, but he came here when he was like three. Oh, oh So damn. he grew up as, in California. Okay. So he's literally Spicoli from fucking Fast that's, yeah. Like, that's how he talks. <laughs> that's so funny. And he that's his whole that. fucking way. Like, but I'm like so 
jealous. I'm like, what drugs did I need to do to like get rid of that part of my brain? You yeah. know, I'm like about to get a fucking lobotomy over here. You know, is Fuck. there no meds to take for? Um... I'm on. I'm on medicine. Okay. I take one medicine because I don't want to be on like a ton. I have friends that are on a ton and they're even well. That worse. makes you weirder. Yeah, it makes you like weird, and you know they're on it because yeah, you're like, yeah. yeah, you're a little weird. Like, you, you know? yeah, it's like you're like I still want to be me just yeah. without the anxiety. Yeah. So I'm on this like medication. I've been on it my whole life since I was like 16 called Effexor, and it really helps. Like I normally wouldn't even be able to leave the house. That's how bad they are. So it helps yeah. me like leave the house. And then like when I have the really, really bad ones where like my heart rate goes like 200, I have like a clonopin to like knock it down. Oh, but if it's not up super high, like I would check on my Apple Watch. I'm like, if it's not crazy high, then I'll just like chill and try to breathe, you know, or take CBD the, like, or passion flower. Oh, yeah. dude, it's Box such a nightmare. breathing. Yeah, that shit's like out the window when you're having a full blown yeah. one. But oh. I try to stay natural. I don't really take the benzos because they're like really addictive. You yeah. Know? And, and then I'd be like this all the time. Yeah, yeah no. you'd be fucking, they knock me out. Do you so. get them before going on stage ever? I get, you know, so the thing is right before I go on stage, every time before I go on stage, I do get a really high heart rate. But I do have like beta blockers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, I can take like if it, my Apple Watch is set to alert me like 150. Oh, shit. So if it's going too fast, then I have to take a beta blocker. But that doesn't calm your mind. It just calms the your body. heart okay. working okay. so okay. hard. Okay. It makes your yeah. heart not work so So you're hard. still in that like yeah, hyper aware. Yeah, still mentally like, nah. But my body's like, do, do. Like oh, it basically shit. opens your blood vessels in your heart. So your heart's not working so hard. Damn. Yeah. Huh. They give them people that have like heart problems. But yeah. 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 I mean, my, I'm like a hummingbird. I'm like, mm, you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, like yeah, chill yeah. the fuck out, right? Heat up. This is going to sound so maybe maybe creepy, but not because whatever. I was listening to an audio book by Dr. Amen, and he mentions uh, your name yeah, in the Dr. book. Yeah, Dr. Amen. I went and saw him. Yeah. I'm like, I just found him on a TED Talk and have been in a rabbit hole. Did you? Yeah. I just wanted to ask, like, did you like that experience? He's great. I went and had my brain scanned with him and... Um, you know, obviously, like, he was like, you have really bad ADHD, which I don't treat. I don't want to be on amphetamines, you know. I don't want to be on, like, Adderall or Focalin or any of that shit. Because I already got a fast heart rate, you know what I mean? Oh, you got, you're on that? No yeah, well, no, my, well, okay. I have, no, are. I have, like, anxiety, AD, depression, yeah, yeah, ADHD. Yeah, yeah. And what I've found, you found a works good combo. for them good. is... I was very scared of it too. Yeah, I mean, my dad yeah. was like a meth head. I'm like, I, I don't want to be on it before, and I, and I it was, was not for me. Well, for I some mean, people, it makes the anxiety worse. Right. But my anxiety was coming from not getting anything done. Right, right. Because of my ADHD, which yeah. is like eight million thoughts. Anyway, yeah. sorry, not to interrupt. No, but. it's okay. So basically, like I said, my brain. He's like, you got a lot of like ADHD shit going on. You got trauma. You know, like all this stuff that you know. Basically, I just had a crazy childhood. You know, yeah. that's yeah. why I have yeah. these panic attacks. So yep. It's all from that. You know, and people are like, oh, well, you can just like you know heal it whatever but it's like the thing that people don't get is when crazy things happen to you when you're so young mm -hmm. it actually changes your brain chemistry yeah so it's like it makes it your alters brain, your brain you know and then there are ways to like rewire your neural pathways or whatever but like you know i've tried i've gotten off the medicine i've been on the medicine i've tried all the fucking retreats i've done yoga i've had my brain zapped i've done tms oh, like fuck, i've had fuck. so much shit done to try to get rid of this and i'm like you know, I now that the thing is with stand up is it's like it's exposure therapy. So the yeah. biggest thing for agoraphobia is putting yourself through it. Yeah. And it sucks and it's so hard and it's so fucking gnarly and you just. But get that's so, changing the neural but pathway. But it changes the neural to pathway. Because like, your brain's like, oh, we didn't die. We didn't die. It's safe. And you do yeah. it again and again and again and again and again. And eventually, every time. You get less and less afraid, and it's been happening. So well, it's that's working. Great. That's yeah. great. That's so also working. so fucking hard too to, because stand up's already fucking hard. It's already hard. So yeah. you're thinking of your fucking jokes and being funny, and then at the same time you're like, yeah, like Try having this whole fucking thing. Like that's attack. so, yeah. and like people don't realize that. Of yeah. course, when you go on stage, that you're they're like. You know what I mean? They're judging you just from yeah. uh, probably your appearance second you walk on because people yeah. are like, oh, women are funny. Oh, yeah. and, then, and then you're like, I'm trying not to fucking lose my mind here. Yeah. What's my next fucking joke? What's this crowd work shit going on? Like, that's that's intense. That's a it's lot. It's very hard to yeah. manage like my brain and then also like my set. And I'm like, yeah. okay, like try not try to remember everything, you know? Like I, you know, oh, I, yeah. I get so in my own head trying not to have anxiety that I try to, you know. But you it's, take a but cheat sheet up with you? I do have a little tea, a cheat sheet. It's actually in my bag, yeah. but I don't look at it. I but, never yeah, but, take it out, but no, the but fact good, that I there. know yep. it's there. It's yeah. like a security if blanket. I, if I yeah. have a fucking blank slate yeah. for some reason, then I know I can grab it. But yeah. thank oh, God nice. it hasn't happened yet. And I even keep like a little 
beta blocker in my pocket just in case. Yeah, yeah. If the shit hits just the if fan. shit really hits You're the just fan. You're just popping it on fucking, stage. I'm like, fuck it. I'm taking this fucking bill. That's actually Look funny. what you did to me. <laughs> <laughs> I told this on another podcast. I was doing the bourbon room for the first time. It's a big room. Have you yeah. guys done yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like a little nervous because it was like a lot. It was a sold out show. And Brett Goldstein was like right before me. And he was he had just finished and he was standing there. And Neil Brennan was bringing me up. And my heart, my watch alerted me that my heart was going oh, like God. 170. Jesus. And I was like, fuck. And I'm like, I got to take a beta blocker. So Brett is just standing there staring at me. And I'm like, just like, look away, dude. Because like, I'm about to go on stage. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. run to the bathroom. It's all the way downstairs, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So, so, I just so fucking, far. That bathroom is in it's another so planet. Yeah. I'm like, what is this place? Like fucking so Pan's sense. Labyrinth? Like yeah, you gotta go through crazy. like pay a troll. Like it's horrible. Yeah. It's insane. I'm like, are we in the inside of the yeah, earth? No, yeah, it's nuts. weird. It goes down. It goes yeah. down deep. So I fucking take the beta blocker and he just watched me the whole time take this. I'm like, this guy's gonna go fucking probably be like, this bitch is on pills. This like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, it's a beta blocker. Like, don't, I'm not taking drugs. Like, it's not it drugs. works that immediately? It does. It works wow. in like five Shit. seconds. Well, the oh one my I do, God. five stolic. I mean, if you guys get a fast, like a crazy fast heart rate before you go on stage, it just, oh, literally all they do is they open your blood vessels of your heart so your heart doesn't have to pump so hard. Oh, so shit. So it just makes your heart rate go back to normal. That's interesting. Mm, yeah, they that give is. Them, yeah. I feel like I probably do, but I'm somehow in my psychotic brain, I'm like, I think that fuels me. I'm going to drop well, dead on stage one day. Well, maybe for some people, yeah, it makes you faster, right? Because you're, you're like, but your adrenaline's still going. But the thing is, your brain doesn't slow down. So even if you're having those, like, you know, spontaneous mm-hmm. thoughts or those anxious thoughts, it'll keep that, you know, but Ooh. your heart won't be working so hard. Shit. Yeah, I do you guys that. get nervous anymore? No, because you've been doing it for so long. I don't, I don't get, I used to, like, panic and have to take a giant shit before every set oh my god that's so mm-hmm. funny mm-hmm. yeah you get like anxiety shit oh yeah, yeah, yeah no. they, that's what they call it scared shitless yeah. literally yeah. no it's like my body's in flight yeah it's yeah, like fight or flight yeah oh yeah yeah and i mean i have like ptsd <laughs> weird shit yeah, too yeah, yeah, yeah. so like it would just be like sometimes really cutting it close where the, it's like you're next and then the person's doing seven minutes and i'm like I gotta go to the bathroom yeah, and yeah, hope yeah, I'm yeah. You gotta just, time your fucking yeah, your anxiety just shit. Fucking like, just fucking pinch it out. I yeah. don't get too nervous. Or I think I still feel the energy, but I get like more excited unless it's like I don't, like if if I'm told someone so and so is watching important oh, person, I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like just don't tell me, yeah, because then I go no, that like should be a rule: never tell you who's in the crowd. I hate when they do that. I yeah. have only just recently. And I feel like I'm going to end up going back on this like rule I've set for myself of like, don't plan your set based on that. Because my problem every time I've done a showcase is I'll be like, well, I'll do, I'll do this set or if I know someone's watching. Yeah. And then instead of being my normal present self, I'm like, yeah. just go You're to the robotic. next joke. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and one time. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, yeah, that sucked. Yeah, I feel you, dude. But you know what? Whatever. It's like they're not all going to be fucking winners. Some no. days you're going to be not in it, and some days you are, and who fucking cares? Yeah. Whatever. We're all going to be dead one day. No one's going to remember. That's exactly God. it. Right? But they might remember that one bomb, and I remember every bomb I ever had. Um, <laughs> yeah. I also have the shits. I get the shits sometimes. Not anymore, but I had the shit so bad opening for Rob Delaney years ago. Oh, wow. At a big theater in Toronto. Yeah, that's and I, a huge, it was so bad. I, my huge. sister was banging on the door. She's like, they're calling your name. Oh, like, my God. I'm like, water is coming out of my anus. But that was like a theater. Yeah, huh? it was my first big show. Oh. And I was like, I can't get out of the toilet. My sister's like, stall, stall. So the, the host was like, so anyway, I was like, I, oh I couldn't close my asshole. I couldn't close. It was a nightmare. That's so How did funny. it go? It was very great. It was, it was, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was? So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The shit finished quickly and I ran out there. But Good. now, yeah, now. Sometimes the like, shit helps. Yeah. I feel like. I only get nervous. I get a weird nervous here. Here still in the main room yeah. for some reason is the only room I got a I weird did, uh, thing. Main room's a big room. It's I do big too. Room. And when fucking Rick Ingram, who I always he's fuck. so good at crowd work. I, and then the, the, that's it. You're done. And the he crowd does, doesn't want you after. He does all the crowd work, oh. and there's none left. There's none I mean, left. I've been watching him for years. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is just insane. I love him. I always he doesn't even have to like, do fucking stand. Like he doesn't no. even have to have a no, set. No, he doesn't. No, he's so fucking quick. It's unbelievable. It's wild. But then you're you're good at it too. You got you're like the female version. of Well, no, I well I can't go back. Him, though. I can't go back after him. So I, yeah. I keep trying. I'm like, yeah. it's like a fucking mission of mine to be yeah, able to kill after him and, fucking fast. and do crowd work as well. Yeah, yeah. But it's oh, like, and I'm, do crowd work. Yes, That's where I, you get fucked because, well, and the, uh, the hardest part about following Rick, which obviously, because he's funny and he's obliterating the crowd, they're in a mood where they want, want crowd work, but it's all been done. Yeah, there's not even one subject the, you can touch. The best set I've but ever had after Rick, I came out and I, and I've gone jokes. like, no, but I, but I addressed it. I was like, we just had a lot of crowd work. I don't want to fucking talk about you guys. Yeah, yeah. This is, I'm gonna tell you about me. I don't yeah, yeah, care yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. who's Chinese. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Ca- it's fine that you are, but like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. almost going like, okay, that was fun. 
something else. But it, yeah. I, but the time that I physically addressed it, and that was a little weird for me. Mm-hmm. But then it reset the room because, like, also just doing jokes, people are like, "Yeah, I, yeah I'm just, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm getting pissed off that <laughs> Dead. why." can't i watch him yeah, so i he's sit he's so the only comic so i watch and i watch and i look at everyone he talks to yeah. and i sink in everything he fucking says mm. and i go okay i either add on to something or i go to someone completely different because there's, there's other people in the crowd you can go to you have to go all the way to the back oh, of the i'm in like, the back i see this guy back oh, no, there i yeah, can't tell literally. if he's black or white yeah. but fuck that guy <laughs> he's yeah, got a couple you. eyes on his head hey eh? look at his eyeballs no, Wait, I, are you even a man where are you from you go all the way in the back but I'm like, everyone's oh, crowd is still sign. different, though. It's still going to be fucking different. We're going to ask different questions. And I'm like, how come it's... I, I know I mentioned this before because I get so mad. How come 10 comics can go up and talk about my wife, my kids, dating, but then two comics do crowd work and they're like, see it? No, there's nothing else you could say. I'm like, there is. And I'm going to say it. And I, I talked to Greg Fitzsimmons about this because we both get annoyed that we're like... Him not as Their much. adrenal Ian glands Bag, have been Ian depleted. Ian Bag's yeah. a hilarious. Have you seen Ian Bag yet? No, not yet. So, an oh, amazing crowd work. Killer goes, crowd work. Oh, yeah. killer. Yeah. I've never killer. seen, I don't know what his jokes are. I don't either. Because I, I've only seen him oh, here and he, he just. Crowd work? He did a, He did an entire set off of me talking about soaking once. Like he, so, I have a soaking joke. He did an entire 15 minute riff on my soaking joke and it killed Harder soaking than my original. Oh, no. Yeah. no, soaking oh. like like Mormon soaking. Do you know about Mormon soaking? No. Oh. Are you Mormon? Ew! No. I dated a disgusting ex Mormon. No, I'm not Mormon. So I learned too much about the Mormon community. Oh, whoa. what the? And fuck we is love that the when Mormon. You sit in your blood or something. No, it's when, he, no. it's when the guy inserts his penis to have sex. But it's like they before have to, they're married, they can't have sex. But he puts it in and leaves it in there. They don't move. But a friend comes over and jumps on the bed in order to give the guy the movement and the push to get it into the soaking position. This is fucking real. But, but wait, 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 wait. So, so, so they're not technically having sex? Yes. Because he's just in there. It, like that. It's in there. And what is that? A third eye blind in song? In the, who sang that song? Just who put it in? Never mind. He puts it in, but because he's not doing the movement, his friend is like moving the bed. So that's like the third party where it's like he's not actually doing the movement. Did he this just happen to you? No. Ew, no. no, no. Oh my this God. is like oh young wow. adult. Is this your trauma? I'm yeah, like, yeah, is this yeah, your no. PTSD? This, the, my ex is my PTSD. That's no, no, no. This so is, uh, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. weird. And then they it just lay weird. there. I've never yeah. heard of that. Oh, you'll see it now. Now that we've mentioned it and your phone's picking this up, your algorithm's going to be fucking stupid. Even if you get bored. You're going to get Mormon influencers going like, like okay, girls. And yeah, fucking yeah. soaking. I'm like, thanks a lot, guys. I'm fucking bold. I'm throwing my phone away. Speaking of soaking, you're at Jersey Mike's. We got. That's what, that's how they make Jersey Mike subs. They put it in. Yeah. Yeah, a friend ways. pushes it in, they put it out. Let it sit there. <laughs> Fucking dead. That used to be my job, actually, before comedy. I was the Jersey soaker. Man, you're the soaker. Jersey 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 oh, my God. Next. Where Ew, did you guys work before you did this? Oh, my. Everyone's had weird jobs. Uh, yeah, you had right weird before ones. I started stand-up, I was doing PR for a nonprofit school for blind and visually impaired children. But I've Jesus. had some. I know that. Wow. I don't uh, think I knew that. Oh, I was a hero. <laughs> That's like a real um, job. Yeah, what the hell? working at Chuck E. Cheese or something. No, I worked at a Hess gas station. I was a phone sex operator. Yeah. phone sex operator, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Phone sex no, people always think so. I, I was know. Gonna say. I know. Well, you want your wiener work or not? I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking <laughs> hilarious. I'm, I'm so sucking your cock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm also hey, smoking I'm three s- cigars. Yeah, I'm so time. wet right now. That's hey, crazy. yo. You did phone sex operating? I did. So, how much does that pay? Um, it's. Pay? I'm all just in case it doesn't work think. out and I get dumped. <laughs> I, the, the base rate was not, it was like a not crazy, but then. I think at the time I was doing it from like in Florida and uh, but it was from a company out here. I think you got bonuses for how long you kept them on the line. So I think oh. I averaged like 18 bucks an hour. So they call you oh. and like, what if you're like out shopping or something? Well, you have you have to have a landline, which is so funny. That's I had a so landline. Funny. Are you and I had the two cord? roommates. That's so funny. So they would they just be like walking around. They knock on the door like, do you want to go to the bar tonight? And I'd be like, Shut up, I'm yeah. coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> so fucking horny. Sorry. I'm so thirsty for that PBR. Yeah, oh. yeah exactly. Give me a whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. So did you literally have to pretend you were, like, coming and shit? Yeah, it was weird. They, like, want you to make, like, sound effects. But the the first note I got after my first week was, like, create more of a fantasy. They're like, paint a picture. And I was like, these men don't care. They no. want to hear what they think sounds like a pussy. I mean, they're chewing a banana, like. Wait, did they ever, did you ever, like, think oh, a voice was hot and get, like, kind of off on it? Uh, or did they did they not really talk? Like, no, there talking. were times where I was like, because I'm a fucking horny creep. You're I was like, like, who is this? this? <laughs> did you ever masturbate? Uh, Actually, for real? 
She yes, did. you did. She did. Yes, you did. She told me she drives me to her easier. car, too. Yeah. Do you right now? Well, I'm very auditory. Yeah. I haven't in a while in the car. But she like, has in the car. Last, I'm last very, car. like, I masturbate every day. It's pretty normal. Yeah. Every day. Not in the car, like not a pervert. Well, I'm day. on the go. Every day. Yeah. Sorry, I don't stay go. in my home. Yeah. I have places to be. Yeah. On the and fucking, things to come about. You're like, I'm a multitasker. Now that I'm on my ADHD meds, I know how to multitask. Thanks, five ants. I'm just on the phone eating a cheeseburger. Yeah. everything at once it's masturbating totally in traffic with my that's, leg that's crazy disgusting. how long did you do it for i just did it for like um less than a year i basically like graduated college and knew that i wanted to move to la uh-huh. but i like worked for a year doing three different jobs so i was also working for the state at, at a place called division of blind services jesus where i helped blind and visually impaired adults this by the way my degree was pr i don't have like a blind it doesn't matter Wait, you worked for the state and did the phone sex stuff at the same time? Well, here's the crazy oh thing. One of the blind guys comes in. He's like, I know this. Yeah. I recognize <laughs> you. I know who Rock this is. Hard yeah. I did start doing jokes about like blind people for a while. And I was like, this is bad. Just because I'm like, well, what what's turning this guy on? Like, oh what's, is it the smell? Uh, the feel of a yeah, titty? Yeah. I found out about the phone sex thing from a woman who became my client at the blind services because she was doing it but wanted a different job. And she, this woman... I don't know if I'm... Was she blind? She was... She had um, mass, uh, macular degeneration, so she was heavily visually impaired. Whoa. This woman comes in, 70, in her 70s, a woman named Fran. She walks in the first day, she's wearing a leopard print shirt and Crocs. And she did phone sex And had blue right? blockers on, and bless her fucking heart, still the sticker on the shirt. And I was like, Fran, they got the sticker. Her. And I went to her house once to, like... We help set up accommodations and stuff, and, like... This woman, I'm fucking obsessed with her. She had a tattoo on her neck that she had gotten in the last like year when she visited her son, hoarding things from QVC and HSN. She's Whoa, just like a chronic yeah, shopper. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, I really want to get a job because Home Shopping Network is based in where I lived at the time, St. Petersburg. Yeah. Uh, and they had at-home clerks. I, I also mm. did that. Wow. <laughs> um, Jesus. So I worked my full-time job. I'd go do shifts doing like at home selling things at HSN and then on the weekends I had the day shift of phone sex and let me tell you those lines don't stop and the thing is is you're not actually sure who they're calling you clock in and you like come into this back line but they're like you don't know what number they've dialed and like there's certain rooms they I guess put you in I never got moved into like I was like put me in the dominatrix room they didn't but like you're when you get your training, you're told to, act, you're, they're supposed to think that you also called in. So this is some like horny party line where I'm just supposed to be like, I'm oh. also horny. I can't oh, believe we got nice. matched. Yeah. My oh pussy's my God. so Hi. wet. I was just here like, what yeah. do I do with this wet pussy? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a super hot like woman. Any woman would do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dead. That's, that's just like, <laughs> no one will fuck me. So I'm home on a Sunday morning at 8 a.m. That's when you did it. Yeah. I had like an 8, I had like an 8 a.m. Mm. to, Hey, I'm waking like a, up with that. These guys boner. are waking up with chubs yeah, and they're, they're like, I gotta go. get this thing worked out. Dude, morning, and you got some morning, weird morning, shit in there too. God. Okay. What about you? Where'd you work? Um, I worked a lot of waitressing jobs, a lot of bartending jobs. I worked at, no, uh, I worked at a waiting pool um, for years, like you a kids' pool. <laughs> Which was I worked oh. in a very bad neighborhood, so the people used us as babysitters. So they would just like leave us leave there. Leave the kids in the, kids. the pool. The kids would just come and they'd lock me in the hut and they'd find like dead birds and chase me with them. They're, oh I, my I god! Like, <laughs> you were like a camp counselor, kind of. Yeah, and then I worked camps. I worked a skateboarding camp, and I worked. Uh, I did a <laughs> camp. Sounds fun. Sixty plus improv camp for fun. these like women that were hilarious. They were That's so great. funny. Oh my god! Um, and then we had a million serving jobs. Then when I moved out here, I worked under the table because they didn't have green card for the first oh, few years. Wow. Oh wow! So I babysat for a guy who had a nanny cam who spied on me. Ew! Um, who then fired me because I didn't uh, praise his daughter after she hit me for three hours. Um, <laughs> and I found out he fired me because he was watching me on the nanny cam. Didn't tell me that he had one. Anywho, That's so creepy. So cre- and I saw him here. A fucking two months ago, I came over, I was fucking eating my members, got in face. I saw him here. He used to be an open oh, micro when I moved here. He's a fucking loser. And I saw him up here and I was like, if I have seen him here again, I'm getting kicked out. I think Whoa. you can sue him for that. I, I mean, it's can. a little late. It's but... a little late now, but I, I found it after I fully could have. Because I used to bike, like I had a bicycle, I didn't have a car. So I'd bike there and I would like be so paranoid something was going to happen with this kid. So I'd watch her all the time. So I'd like change my bike clothes in front of her just because I didn't care. I'm like, yeah. my bra was still on. I wasn't yeah. nude. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, was, like, I changed my sweaty bike clothes yeah. into my, cl- in my clothes. Oh, yeah. And oh, what, yeah. what did he do for a living? That he guy? was, I, I think, like a writer. He was like so. He was younger than me. His him and his wife, like his girlfriend, were in together. Like it was, oh. it was fucked up. She was younger than me too. And then I worked a horrendous catering gigs out here, oh, like for I've high end 
I wore oh, one. I think I, I don't mention before, but it was for fucking like a, a um, days of our lives. Oh my god! <laughs> I've mentioned this before, and, and they all had butterflies in these like little envelopes. No, you have not. And they, oh, it was so fucked up. And then when they came out, they like just everyone so opens a piece of paper, and the butterflies was to fly out. Oh no! But the butterflies, when they're in a piece of paper, they for die. Hours, they all were like. Oh, so no. all these like monarchs were coming out, and I was like. <laughs> Stepping on these fucking bikes, so these the surveys. It was so fucked up. On the floor. Oh, there was a lot of dead butterflies. Oh. No, it was bad. I felt bad. I was like trying to save them, put them up and stuff. But it's like they all were like because mm, they were in this paper for so long. I was like, why did they think they're gonna open this up? And other butterflies were like, ah, freeze. Or also, how much money do you fucking have to waste it on hurting fucking People innocent? Are so Whose innocent? job was that? They gave me a, a box. No, stay, stay. And they're like, hand these out. I'm like, oh, what are these? And I open. I was like, oh, so like, I thought like fun. I thought it was like, like sparklers or something, like little yeah. like sprinkles. Like with fucking confetti, Glitter. I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's a live animal in this thing. That's sitting in a so fucking box. Horrible. It was sick. That's I can't remember what the person. Oh my name, god, I love life. butterflies. That's so sad. Me too. It's it devastating. Was, no, it was really it's sad. Like really I know, horrible. I know. It was no, it was very bad. <laughs> what year was this? This was like four, no, five years ago, probably. I'm like, wow, yeah. Like maybe six years, six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. You're like, you yeah. don't know what the fuck's going Days on. Days of our lives, yeah. hate Days animals. Lives. Well, shut them down. Uh, the Beverly Hills um country club, they're fucking horrendous to their workers over there. Oh my god. Disgusting. They're so bad, yeah. Did you ever meet anyone cool? Uh no, I don't think I did. I don't I don't know who anybody is. I don't no. know celebrities, so I, pro- yeah. I probably did, but I don't know. Yeah, I say that, and I, I do the same. Like, at most, a celebrity, like, I've been like, have we met? <laughs> That's the yeah, worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, I have, have done, done that? that so many fucking times at Air One. <laughs> like, because there's yeah, so yeah, many yeah. fucking famous people there. And I am that person that I'm like, I don't think, oh, I've seen him on a movie. Yeah, I think, yeah. oh, this is fucking Brad from, like, yeah. fucking, I know I'm down the fucking street, because yeah. I've been yes. here so long. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I moved here when I was 17. I'm 36 now, so oh, we've like, met. We've fucking met this guy. I have done it to so many people. That's so like, funny. What's their reaction? People, they know immediately. They're probably yeah. used like, to it. Like, they're yeah, used yeah. to it. And I'm like, like, this is me. This is my face. Like, you're a famous person. I'm all, oh, hey! And then, I, and then it clicks. And then I'm like, okay. all right. Good to see you. Yeah. Enjoy those $45 macadamia nuts. Like, I fucking, Who's I Who's the worst time. one you've done? Most embarrassing. Oh. I don't see a lot of celebrities. No, I anymore. do the hey, and then I go, ooh, fuck, never mind. It I was, think that's why I'm afraid to say I hi to people was, now. Um, <laughs> who was it? It was a girl. It was a. Uh, I did it to people. Donna from that '70s show. Oh, oh that's okay. funny. It's always people that look like you. They could be your friend. She yeah, was yeah, blonde yeah. at it's the not time. Like the super, fa- yeah, super yeah, yeah, famous, super famous, because you yeah, know yeah. who they are. Yeah, you wouldn't be like, it's oh, like that was Brad who Pitt. Is famous, yeah. but. I have a funny Brad Pitt story. So, so I'm trying to think who it was. This was so long ago, Erwan. I've done it so many times, but. Uh, what was her name? Um, Not famous enough. No, yeah. she was famous. She was famous. It was like Alyssa Milano or some shit like oh, okay. that. Like it was like someone okay, who was like, like on yeah, a TV yeah. show that you're like, oh, I know this person, and then you're but, like, yeah. but I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. What's the Brad? Wait, okay. Before we I've go, told this on another podcast. Okay, so we I was flying uh, to New York with my husband for the MTV Movie Awards, and we're sitting in first class, and this guy, my husband, just passes out, and I realized that I had not packed like any CBD or anything and I don't oh, no. fly well oh. and so I started having a panic attack as soon as we get in the plane oh, I was tired fuck. it was like early in the morning oh, I get him like if I wake up too early so oh, I'm yeah. like and freaking the out the worst. it's the worst and I have my dog and I'm like normally allowed to hold my dog and I took my dog out and the, the stewardess was really mean <gasps> and she was in like first she class she was like you can't have her out anymore that's the new law like even if they're service or whatever you gotta put them on not service emotion Emotional yeah. Sport. yeah, you got to put her under the inner bag, <gasps> and so I was like, sh- started to shake, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I just started. I, I don't want to be a problem, and I didn't have any medicine, and I was like, oh my god, I'm doing a full bone panic attack. I look over at my husband, he's all like. <sighs> Pass the fuck out. I'm trying to like poke him. Like, dude, I'm fucking. He's like, he's sleeping. He's like, he sleeps like a rock. (laughs) So this guy is sitting in front of me with like a white bucket hat and a mask, you know. And this because this was like, I don't know when we went to the MTV Movie Awards, maybe two years ago, a year ago. And I pull the the stewardess over, and I'm like, I'm having a full blown panic attack right now. And she's like, Okay, what can we do? And I'm like, (laughs) She's so like. And then they got me ice. I put <laughs> ice on my wrist. You know, like that helps or whatever. Okay. But when I was like, I was like, I, and then I started just just talking to someone sometimes helps me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I start like telling her like all about my anxiety disorder. <laughs> and I see the hat in front of me just slowly like, like peer its eyes over the seat. Like what the fuck? And then turn back around. Like oh, the 
the eyes. Just saw the eyes and the mask beer. and the hat. Like, what the fuck is this girl doing? Because I was freaking out. I was it's like, okay, 6 a.m. It all started when I was yeah. Yeah. Like, six <laughs> years old. And, you know, I doing a monologue. Yeah. And my parents got divorced yeah. when I was really young. And I'm like, keeping the stewardess here, like, hostage. Like, uh-huh, telling her my uh-huh. whole life story, yeah. trying to calm And he's like, down. I want my fucking oatmeal. And he's probably like, shut the fuck up, right? Because I'm like, and I don't even know it's Brad Pitt at this point. I just saw the hat and the eyes. It's just a man in a hat. So then... I finally calm down. I, you know, the ice thing and whatever. I finally go to sleep and I'm like a mess because I'm just like, you know, I was like so upset. I cry sometimes. But so, so like we, the, we land and we're getting off the plane. And I see a bunch of paparazzi and I'm like, babe, how'd they like know you were here? I'm thinking it's for my yeah, husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always <laughs> yeah, the, of course. Like, paparazzi, yeah. but usually like our team's pretty good at like doing it low key. And then they start going, Brad, Brad, Brad. And it's the fucking guy in the hat and the mask. And then he takes his mask off and I'm like, and he's literally walking right oh in front of us because he was the seat God. in front of me. Jesus. And they're like, Brad Pitt, Brad, Brad, Brad. And it was fucking Brad Pitt. And I was <laughs> like, oh, my God. God. Like, if I knew Brad Pitt was sitting in front of me, it would have knocked my panic attack yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. you're like, it's okay. Oh, Brad, Brad Pitt like, is yeah. here. I would have been like, what's up? Like, you know what I mean? Hey, like, I'm, I'm cool. I'm I don't totally have chill. mental illness. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm very chill. My dog's I'm and hot like, and calm. Tits, you know, yeah. my husband's asleep. He's not awake, you know. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's What's up? Like, I would have very much cut so chilled funny. out. Because, like, I don't know why, but, like, if, like, it, something would have thrown me out of it. Oh, uh, like, it's Brad so Pitt. He's human Klonopin. You're just going to be like, oh, we're going to be fine, everyone. But what? He should have, he should have, knowing he's fucking Brad Pitt, yeah. turned around and been like, are you okay? You're right. That would have been amazing. And you would have been like, I am now. And he would have been like that. I would have been amazing. I would have been, 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 been so happy. But I think, like, it's like maybe he didn't want to get involved because I was, like, literally, like, telling this, yeah, lady, like, my yeah, whole story. Yeah, and yeah. he just looked, like, to be like, who is this crazy? He didn't want to get sucked fucking in. Fucking psycho behind me. That's so funny. Do you it think he was crazy. like, is that my ex? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Probably Je- not. Is that Jennifer? She's oh very anxious, God, too. Oh, God, dude. That's, was, but that's, yeah, that's so the story. Funny. That's a great oh, story. Boy. That's a story. Yeah, great story. I didn't even get to meet him, either. I was just like, just like, saw how neurotic I was. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. he was like, like none for like, me. He's like, proper to get her out of all the photos. That's Photoshop her out. I don't want her. I don't know the person that's trying to walk like, really far ahead. I tried to walk faster. Yeah. <laughs> he greets the paparazzi just to get away from you. I know, right? Hey, I have here. Oh, takes the mask off, immediately throws it. Hey. <laughs> He's like, let let them swarm me. I don't he care. Just has yeah, security yeah, yeah. like remove me. <laughs> like I didn't even do anything. Uh, you can't take you're, me off a plane. To. You're about to. You're about to. That's funny. Um, we gotta wrap up, but yeah. um, really quick, did you have any weird jobs before? Uh, yeah, I've done a ton of weird jobs. Oh my god, I I I used to answer a phone for prostitutes. I used to wow. in LA. I worked for this really rich guy, and I would just sit in the house and answer the cell phone and I'd book them. You were oh like, like, a talent I, coordinator. I wasn't a madam. I wasn't yeah. a madam because I didn't. They weren't my girls. They were his girls. You were the oh. secretary. So I would. I was like a secretary, and I would be like, "Okay, who are you calling for? Are oh, you calling oh for God. Angel? Okay, she's free this time." And I oh, then I'd shit. call her and book her. Like, and I had all their calendars. You were an agent. I did that for a yes. while. I mean, I. I did. Uh, I was a, a fit model in like Ooh. downtown LA because yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. super, super, super skinny and like they would. Uh, these Asian people would just model. They would use live models and they would take all their cl- samples and they would fit them to me and make clothes for hours. Oh wow! And it was actually an amazing job. It paid like two hundred bucks an hour back oh, in the sounds day. Sounds fun. Was, like, there, a great job. Yeah, yeah. So I just had to stand there for like five hours a day, but you had to stay like a hundred pounds. You had to be so skinny because uh, they were doing the the uh, the clothes on you and they liked to use a real person okay and it's literally i was there for like two years as soon as you gained like one fucking pound you're fired you're fired i watched so many girls get fucking cut they cut, weigh cut, you cut, cut. when you got there they didn't weigh you but they knew okay. when you fucking stood up there if you were not an absolute stick figure oh my it was God. not gonna work that's so wild they i did that for two years i and lasted the longest and i was the oldest one doing it but I just watched all these girls come in and out, and then as soon as I, I was like a hundred and maybe five pounds, and then I went to like one ten, and they were like, "You're which out. is also very skinny. That's so uh, skinny. I was like, what I'm one thirty right now. So that's, and you're that's, thin. That's yeah. twenty pounds that's, less than Jesus. I am because I'm that's five six. Wild. And they yeah. were like, they literally was so funny. Every time they'd fire someone, they would like they spoke spoke Korean. So they'd like go in their office and they'd be like talking Korean, and then they would they'd come out and they'd be like, "Yeah, we're so sorry." but we, we can't work with you anymore. Like, they would just be oh like, bye. You too fat. Yeah, but they wouldn't say it, but that's what you knew. Oh, my God. And girls would, like, cry. Because it was such a ra- 
bad job. It was so easy. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Like five hours a day, 200 bucks yeah, an hour. That's it was nuts. amazing. That's nuts money. Yeah, I made that's it for two fucking... years. I did that. Yeah. And, and then you're like, I'm hungry. And then, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm hungry, but I can't I use my money. I was so hungry, you guys. Oh. I was fucking oh. insane. But yeah, so then that, then that, I did the, the phone thing. I, you know, I, uh, what else did I do? I used to um, do, like, just to make, you know, ends work i would mm. i would do like uh i would go to like goodwill and beverly hills and this is back in the day like before instagram and all that i would go to goodwill really early in the morning <gasps> when they would get all the stuff in and put all the new you stuff you were flipping out. stuff and these oh. fucking ladies would get rid of like prada bags fucking oh, gucci yeah, bags yeah. like amazing shit and i knew which one to go to it was like beverly hills goodwill oh, this shit. time and i became friends with people so i knew the time that they did the dumps oh. you know they did it every like couple that's hours that's smart so I'd go there and be the first one to see what's on the cart and i would pick stuff up and there was only like five of us that did this back in the day now everyone does oh, yeah, it oh cuz that heard the about day, it you know there was no poshmark there was yeah, no yeah. you know there was just ebay and mm -hmm. eBay would, was just kind of new even. And yeah. so I would I would go and I would buy stuff and then I'd resell it on eBay and make so much money. So I was always kind of like a hustler. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I love That's this. really smart. Yeah, I seriously. love that. Yeah. Wow. Dude, yeah. fuck yeah. God. Well, go see Britney live for God's sakes. Follow her on Instagram. Where yeah, can, what's I'm the... just at Britney Furlan yeah. and I uh, I put the link in my bio. I perform a couple times a week. So yeah, I'm always posting about it. And yeah. yeah, come see me. I promise I'll make you laugh. If I don't make you laugh, I'll refund your money. I promise. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a that's big a, promise. Well, I can't I do that. I swear to God, come up to me. I don't me make enough money to do yeah, that. Yeah, she owe a lot of people money. I mean, yeah, yeah you yeah, can. You we can. Because yeah. they'll um, laugh. Yeah, you will. You'll laugh. At least one joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw you laugh. No, one. you yeah, laughed yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't smirked. get your money. You yes. cracked a fucking smile. Don't lie. Anyway. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for coming. You're awesome. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, stay alive or whatever, people. Keep Tommy Lee alive. Follow the podcast at Slob's Pod. Follow me at Steph Tolev. Follow me everywhere on the internet at JMS Comedy. <laughs>